Dance Club, but the controversy surrounding Liquid Motion's closing time is far from over. Fargo City Commissioners have once again postponed a decision on a new ordinance on dance halls and public dances. Christy Lonerbaugh tells you where both sides go from here. It's back to the drawing board for Fargo City Commission. The group unveiled a new dance ordinance to a flurry of opposition. So much opposition that the commission was forced to delay a vote on the new draft for the second time. What we're working through right now is, is what that means and, and what bits and pieces of the ordinance uh, are kept and, and what we're going to revise. We're, doing, we're talking about dancing here, like just kids bouncing around the room. The new ordinance regulates closing times and mandates security measures both bones of contention with the owners of Liquid Motion. Their doors stay open until 3 a.m. They say it's not about the money, it's about freedom. I think there's a greater principle at stake here, and it's not just, you know, public safety. It's pretty much uh, the freedom to express yourself in the form of dancing. City commissioners disagree. They say the late closing time gives the after-bar crowd a chance to migrate to the underage club, and that could be dangerous. There needs to be some sort of regulation and some sort of ordinance. City commissioners say they'll revamp the ordinance, clearing up some of the more vague areas, then bring it back to the table. But some say getting liquid motion and the city dancing to the same tune will be a challenge. I honestly know in my heart we're not going to find any kind of compromise where everybody is going to be happy. We just keep letting them know that we're not letting this go down and we will fight it and fight it and fight it and it won't end. The owners of Liquid Motion say if the ordinance is passed requiring them to close earlier, they'll get petitions going to get the issue on the ballot and let voters decide. In Fargo, Christy Lauterbach, CBS4 News. Stay with us. Dave returns with the rest of your forecast right after this. Be 18 to get in. The club will also be allowed to stay open until 3 a.m. And there are no restrictions on anyone entering the club after the bars close at 1 a.m. The clubs will have to be licensed with the city in this agreement. The city commission will take up the new agreement at next week's meeting. If you've got an appetite, have we got the place for you tonight? When we come back, Tracy Briggs will join us live from this Chef's Gala. This is approved. Very civil. Um, we, but we just explained what we wanted, they explained what, we, what they wanted, and we worked on it together. And if everything, like I said, if everything goes like what they told us today, then we should all be happy on Monday. That's when the city commission takes up the revised ordinance. The city says if Liquid Motion or any other juice bars fail to run business smoothly, the ordinance can be changed. The Grand Forks Park Board is...